we're doing these renos that in the end are worth $150,000 to $250,000. And um, it's free to the recipient. But you guys put it up. You're doing repairs. Yeah, we do repairs, but it's not just a little bit of repairs. You know, it's like when, when, when the homeowner comes back, they're going to see um, a whole new house. Help here! Help! You know, we try to find someone who fits the bill, someone that needs help. A hot water tank, brand new furnace, all new furnace ducting in here. You see, I mean, there's just a little bit of wood left. Everything in here is going to be brand new and safe and up to code. We get lots of people nominated for, the, for this, but not only does their house need to be repaired, we look for the story behind the house. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Good. Hello, Dean. Welcome. Come nice to in. meet you. Thank you for having us. Single okay. mother, yeah. three adopted children. Adopted? Mm -hmm. Yes! Who does that? Three, three <laughs> of them. I don't care. They didn't come from my stomach. Uh, met them. Wanted to have a family, so my ex-husband and I adopted them through the ministry. All right, okay. And had such an enjoyable time raising them that five years later we adopted again. They make it easy. I mean, the older two, as you can tell, uh, are Vietnamese. Levi is Caucasian, but we don't care. I don't... They could be polka dot striped. And now you're going to have a beautiful home for I them know. to be in. The whole reason we do what we do is because, you know, God asked us to do this. He asked us to take care of his children. Sarah is actually a Christian. In the 16 homes we've done, she's only the second Christian that we've done this. So summer. it's not so, just Christian. That so no, it's that you no. Help. Usually they're not, and we we just, you know, they sh they sure see a side of of Jesus through what people are doing for their home. Six six studs. That's the ones with the blue paint on the end. I had. Estimates for windows, estimates for electric, each were like 15,000. It didn't really feel hopeless. I don't allow myself to feel hopeless, but I, I can't do anything about it. Oh yeah, we're ready for some lights. A friend of mine uh, needed a place to stay, so I let her sleep in my living room downstairs for a little bit, and she saw what a mess it was, no ceiling, the window was starting to fall out, but she needed a place. She stayed downstairs for just a very short time. And uh, she met somebody who said, oh, have you ever heard of extreme home repair, acts of kindness? And uh, gave her the email address while she nominated me. Okay. Yeah, what about that? Yep. Beauty. We can't afford a $150,000 project every year. And so it's all about the donations. And so we have to constantly ask the different companies. Fortunately, Aldergrove, Langley, it's a good community. A lot of businesses out there helping us um, with this project. Could not do it without them. Probably close to about 100 different businesses help us. We have a gas stove at the house and two burners don't work. We have to light the other two with a candle. And I don't know if they're gonna buy two burners, if they're going to replace, like I don't know what they're doing. Lunch time! It's a total a team team effort here to, to get this done. Good. So we have people who don't believe in God at all, people from different religions, just people who want to come out and make a difference and do something good. When a few people get together, we can make a, a, a really huge difference. There's, there's a lot of people that are taking time off, and this is their holiday. This one girl that was our fifth, one of our fifth recipients, comes back every year to work, and that, and... Uh, they're paying it forward. They're paying, paying it forward. It's done. <laughs> oh, and I'm spent. The reveal is just amazing. That's it's, what you do it for, right? That, yeah. That one moment. They have the bus there, and then they say, move that bus. Move! 